welcome to part 4 of the motorized drift track build. Uh, so today what we're going to be doing is uh, getting rid of all the unnecessary stuff on the frame that was there to hold on all the, the gas tank and the seat and maybe some other stuff that was there um, that I threw away. So you don't need it anymore. Also help just clean up the frame, make it look better. And what we're also going to do is make a control board um, for the ignition switch and like uh, for the underglow lights I have and we're also going to make it so we can turn a bit more so get a little bit more angle out of that so yep let's uh, start off by uh, clearing up the frame I just finished getting all the junk off of the frame. Uh, I did keep this here and that there. That first off, that kind of stay. That's really, uh, I'd say, pretty important class member for just support on the frame. But maybe this will be here for mounting a seat. So I'm just gonna keep that there for now. Yeah, yeah that's a. A lot, looks a lot cleaner. I going to now I'm going to grind it away. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna go over to Harbor Freight real quick and get some new ones of these because this is like the one that I bought that with. I uh, will be back in three, two, one, and boom, just like that, I'm back. So yeah, let's get to grinding that off. All this leftover stuff, I really don't want it there. Turn out well. Roll that trim down. It looks much more like not as messy. Looks very clean now. Frame doesn't look like it has a bunch of useless crap on it. I'm going to take the angle, gr angle grinder and try to trim these down so I can get more of that angle I was talking about out of the turns. So, yes, do that real quick. I say it's probably another 10 degrees, which is actually a lot. I mean, they're both pretty even, so that's good for now. All right, now I'm gonna go solder the uh, uh, the underglow lights that I have. All right, got all the wiring, solder, iron, heating up. People who has four, where's the switch? It's cool. Um, they did not solder. They just twisting stuff up and use electrical tape on. So we're gonna fix that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so it's a new day, and as you just saw, I uh, got those underglow lights working, hooked them up to that battery, worked pretty well. Um, right now, what I'm, going to, what I'm going to do is first clean up, and then I'm going to get this uh, throttle cable uh, hooked up somewhere so it's not just hanging out. Then what I'm going to also do is uh, I'm going to make a control board with uh, all the switches and the ignition and stuff because I do still have the key as I think I already showed that and I have this makes it like a perfect uh, control panel board probably not going to need to be that big but I might run it up right there or something so yeah I'm going to clean this up first. to uh, strap to the frame it's a bit comp over complicated I guess but I kind of just I want it to look a lot more professional than just thrown together and just zip tied to the frame so I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut little tiny sections out that maybe about like a centimeter wide I'm going to probably probably just like three of them and I'm going to make like a little uh, divot this way let me just get to making it and you'll be able to see what I mean. Once again. There's the finished piece. So the way this is going to work is pretend this is going to be under the frame. So this flat spot is where it's going to go on the frame, where it's going to be welded. And then this little divot in there is this kind of a spot where the cable can rest in it. Then the hole is for a very small zip tie to come around from this hole to that hole loop over the cable. Pretty simple, I guess. that and that they're in spots that are where it needs it most of course right there and wraps around just down there and it's not actually going to come outside of right here I'm actually going to take it off carburetor wrap it through around the frame back here then go up around here so it's not sticking out of here so yeah so let's go make the control board Alright, so I've got the layout of the control panel so far. So, this is going to be where the key mounts right there. And then there's a switch for the lights. And this panel is going to stay here. This is going to go away. Uh, this camera ran out of memory there for a little bit. So, I just went ahead and kept building the 
uh, control board and everything. And put it on here, it looks really good. So this is gonna be the light switch right here. And here's the ignition key. That's just for actually cutting the engine, cutting the engine off. And of course it has to be turned on to actually allow it to, me to kickstart this because it is not electric start. So yeah. Yeah, so that's that's a little generator motor. Not an electric start. But it looks really good right there actually. Like sitting right here. I mean the key is in a really comfortable spot directly at you and same with the switch right where I'd like it to be so yeah it's looking good and also I went ahead and put the uh, throttle cable on well actually mounted it on at least so it's looking good um, that's gonna be it for this video so yeah thanks for watching get ready for the next one Oh, 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 oh,